Hello everyone, we will continue our change request for sales order report and in the previous video, yes, we are simply able to select the rows. We are able to identify, yes, what is the value X for which particular cells the value is capital X. For that, we simply simply put this particular column to capital X, which is a part of grid set X. Now, we will proceed from here. Now, we only want to display the selected rows in the Adobe form or smart form. If you see as of now, what is happening? You are passing the full internal table to the smart form or Adobe form. See, this is our smart form, suppose. We are passing LT final to the smart form. LT final has all the rows, so all rows are displaying. Similarly, same situation is for PDF form or Adobe form also. We are passing LT final, so it is displaying all the rows. Now we need to pass the selected rows to the smart form or Adobe form. Yes, if user is not selecting the rows, then full data we need to pass to smart form and Adobe form. So firstly, we will handle, yes, if user is selecting the rows, how we will just move the how we will display the selected rows in the smart form or Adobe form. So what I will do in one session, I will put a break point. We will understand in debugging mode. In another session, we will write the logic. That is always, always the best way. Those who are lagging in logic or unable to develop the logic, Debugging is the most powerful tool. Just open in the debugging mode and try to write the logic. Yes, it will help you to write the logic in a better way. Suppose I will run this particular report. In the parallel session, I will go for the changes. I am giving some input. Now, suppose I am selecting first row and fourth row. Whenever I will click on to this button, user command will call. I will go to desktop 3. I will go to LT final. LT final has all the records. And I selected first and fourth record. I selected first and fourth yes so for the first and fourth the value of select column is capital x just see how i can write a logic for the same this is our internal table in which we have the full data full data but i will do i will take or i will declare one another internal table in that internal table, I will move only those rows where select is equal to capital X. So suppose if this internal table has four records, I will take one more internal table. In that internal table, I will only only insert those that data where select is equal to capital X. It means in the new internal table, how many records will be there? Two records. And once the new internal table has two records, rather than LT final, we will pass that new internal table. This is the way how we can proceed with the logic. Now I will write the logic for the same and it will give you more more clarity. So in another session, I will just open and write the logic. Debugging session will be as it is. I'll just go to our report. 
I'll go to change mode and I will write a logic. Here itself, I will declare the temporary internal table. Suppose name of the temporary internal table is LT temp finder. I will check the type of LT final. LT final is of this type. So LT temp final will also be same to say. Because both internal table has six columns. Yes. Seven, sorry. As of now, it's seven. So I declare temporary internal table. Now I will simply, simply write a logic loop at lt underscore final into lwa underscore final and loop. So in our current scenario, this internal table has four records. One by one record, one by one data will go to work area. Now I will put a if condition here. If work area hyphen. Just understand in that debugging mode. You can see this is our internal table. So firstly, first record will go to work area. If work area select, if work area select is equal to capital X. It means we selected that. If it is equal to capital X, we will simply, simply insert that data to new internal table. Append. You all know what is the date, what is the internal table operation to insert data to internal table? Append. I will write LWA final to LT temp final. We will clear the work area. That is always the best practice. I will just go for pretty printer. I'll check the syntax and activate. Just see how it will work. Firstly, first record will go to work area. It will check is select is equal to capital X. It will simply, simply insert to new internal table. So new internal table has how many record? Loop will come for second iteration. Is select is equal to capital X? No, it will skip. For the third record, is select is equal to capital X? No. For the fourth record, is select is equal to capital X? Yes, select is equal to capital X. So this record will go to work area. So in the new internal table, we have how many records? We have two records. Now, this new internal table, we need to pass to the smart form or Adobe form. So I will write here LT temp final. And here also I will write LT underscore temp underscore final. I will check the syntax and I will activate. For the best understanding, I will show you in that debugging mode so that it will make you more more sense. I'll just come out. Now we will understand each and everything into debugging. I will check I'll the breakpoint is there or not. I'll put a breakpoint. I will give the date. Suppose I selected only first row samples. Now, user command called. You can see internal table has how many records? Four records. And only for the first row, the value of select column is capital X. Now, loop will go for the first record. You can see side tab x1. Side tab x always give the current index of the record. Now, for the first record, is select is equal to capital X. If I will double click and show you, 
एल डब्ल्यू ए फाइनल हाइफन सेलेक्ट यू कैन सी फॉर द फर्स्ट रिकॉर्ड सेलेक्ट इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल एक्स वी सिंपली अपेंडेड टू द न्यू इंटरनल टेबल If I will go to append, you can see in the new internal table we have the first record. Now loop will come for second iteration. Now in the loop we have second record. What is the work area select? It is space now. If you see for the second record select is space. So this if condition false, it will not insert to new internal table. For the third record, select a space. It will not insert to new internal table. For the fourth record, select a space. It will not insert to new internal table. So in the new internal table, we have how many record? One record. And this one record we are passing to the smartphone. Have you seen the logic is working? Same logic will work for Adobe form also. Because ultimately we are passing that data same to same data to Adobe form also. If I will click here, here itself the data will filter. Now you can see, suppose we have in this internal table we have one record and we are passing LT temp final to Adobe form also. You can see in the Adobe form, we have only one record. So this is the way how we can write the logic. But now this logic will now hamper the existing functionality. That's why in the project, we always talk about impact analysis. Now just see, we did the changes and because of that existing functionality will not work now. Suppose if I will run, I'm not selecting any of the row. It means if I'm not selecting any row, all data should go to the, all data should appear in the smartphone. Now, if I will show you, you can see nothing is in the smart form and you can see nothing is in the Adobe form. We did the changes and because of that existing functionality hampered. That's why in every project we have impact analysis document also that whatever you are doing, these many scenarios will impact. So we need to take care for that also. That part anyway, we will continue in the next video. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we covered, yes, how we can send the selected data to the smart form and Adobe form. So I declared one temporary internal table from the original table. Yes, if we are passing that data to temporary internal table, Based upon what condition, whatever the rows are selected, those data will go to temporary internal table and for smart form and Adobe form rather than original internal table. Now we are passing the internal table, which has the selected data. But now because of this, what has happened now? our existing functionality stopped working because if user is not selecting anything, all data should go to smart form and Adobe form. That part we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.